this is Ananya. I know it's been a really long time since we've done a project, but here I am with a new interesting project based on making your own music player with all the pause, stop, rewind, and all the buttons such as those. Now, isn't that exciting? Well, let's get started. Now, it's pretty simple, you see. Uh, it's based on uh, various modules that we have used previously, such as, as you can see, Kinter, then Pillow, and all of all of these okay and the new one is basically pi game now from pi game we are going to take the mixer class and initialize it to play all the music now let's get started um there are a few basic things such as uh, the kinter root in instantiation and uh, all of that the title the geometry now if you've been following my, my projects you have gone through all of this and you know this pretty well so i'm not going to go in in depth with that so i'm only going to follow you know the basic and the most important functions out here so let's start with one by one now what i'm going to do is i'll just word wrap this thing so that i do not have to scroll left to right every single time all right now we have our window being created right and we have set it to a black background you know just to make it a little classic now to play the music, you need to do one thing. That is, you have to initialize the mixer. Now, you don't have to initialize Pygame also because what I have done is I've said import Pygame. But what you can do is you can simply say from Pygame import mixer and then you don't have to do all the extra work. All right. So for now, let me just comment this. And yes, very important. You will have to pip install Pygame. All right. Next, after the initialization, I'll come to why pause music is false and all of that. Now, let's get down to the buttons. Let me just show you how this thing actually looks. And one second. Hold on. It's coming, coming. Where are you? Why aren't, ah, there you go. This is our music player. Pretty nice, right? It looks pretty, pretty nice. It's cool. So this is how it looks like. Now, one by one, first we'll go through these buttons. And this is basically your volume uh, changing. You can go low to high. We'll see all of that. Now, good thing is I will be providing the entire folder to you wherein you'll have all the images, all the sample music that I'll be playing and the code also so that you can just put it inside your PC and try it out. Now, uh, this is all basic. This is my play button. And I have uh, given it a little bit of sizes and shapes and all of that. This is basically putting an image into a button. This is your play, pause, stop, and your rewind. We know all the functions of these and what they do. So let's not focus on that. Now let's come into the volume uh, part. So basically what happens is it's horizontal, but I wanted it the orientation to be vertical because that's how maximum of the time our music players are, right? So uh, on, in your mobiles, if you've noticed, it's always vertical on the side. So what you need to do is it takes the values from where to start. That is from to which number. If you have seen, I'm going from 100 to 0. Why? Because if I would have given 0 to 100, the bottom part would be the maximum vo volume and the upper part would be 0. That's not what we want, right? It's pretty confusing. And that's it. Now, volume.set basically sets uh, the default value in the beginning to be 65. And um, that's basically it. That's all you do for volume. And you get all the scaling stuff done for you. Now, let's come to one important part. That is, you three, you see these three options out here. File, about us, and help. What does file do? You can open any file you want, all right? It basically gives you any folder. You don't have to have the music in the same folder in, in this case, okay? That's not at all compulsory. And uh, exit will again basically close the window for you. About Us gives you a nice pop-up uh, message box. We again know about that. Uh, so it says, welcome to Code Haven. And this is a platform which provides you with easy access to your favorite tunes and all of that, okay? And help basically gives us uh, an information message box again that get help from us in the community, visit Code Haven. All right. Now, how do we do this thing? Let's have a look at it. What you do is using the menu method, you create a menu bar. Okay. That is basically this thing. And then you configure that with menu is equal to menu bar. Okay. 
Now you have to create sub menus that is open and exit. So how do you do that? Well, let me put this at the side for now. Okay. So sub menu, you say you call the menu again. Now you remember we configured it. So you pass menu bar comma tear off is equal to zero. Now what is tear off? It is basically uh, removing, you get certain borders around you, okay, dashed borders. You don't want that. It doesn't look nice. So you do tear off is equal to zero. Now you say add cascade. What is cascade? You see here, you can, you can just simply go through these. That is file, okay, you cascade through it. And that's basically it. And uh, what you, I hope you could see that though. Okay, see, this is file open and exit that is basically cascading through it. And what is add command? That is you have open and exit. You want certain functions to happen, right? On, when you click them. So you simply call add command on the sub menus, giving them a certain name that is open and exit. And we obviously know the command that is, it'll go to the function where the task has to be done. So command is root.destroy for exit option and open will be coming to that. Next, you have sub menu two. Why sub menu two? Because I want that to be separate from file. Okay, I don't want that to be co-joined. So about us will be a different sub menu from the menu bar. And again, you add the cascade so that you can easily click on that. And when the arrow comes on that, it gets a little highlighted and all of that. And that's it. You command is equal to help and command is equal to about for about us and help. That's basically it, you know, lots of explaining on this part. Let's come to the actual functions. Let's see browse first. Okay, here is browse. What you do is you simply create global file name. It's global, why? Because you want to access it in other functions also, such as the play button. And what you do is you open the file you and store it inside file name using file dialog dot ask open file name. Now, if you have seen using Kinta, I have said import file dialog explicitly. That's a must. Next, let us look at the play button. Now, what play button does is obviously when you hit the play button here, you are going to have the function coming inside the play button. And let I'm going to skip this for now. All right. Now, what you do is by game is equal to mixer.music.load. That basically loads your file where the file name is stored previously and it starts playing the music. And now what I want to do is this entire thing is basically putting in the name of the song that will be played. So in this case, you have the entire path along with the name being played. But if you use mute again or some uh, module like that, you can only get the file name uh, using the metadata um, property of it. And you don't have to, let's say, you don't have the entire path being printed for you. And lastly, if my pause music is false, then the else part will be executed. And again, I have the picture being placed all over again and I'm placing it. Now let us actually come to the pause button. I've been saying I'll skip it. I'll skip it for now. Let's actually concentrate on that. So again, I have a global keyword here on pause music and I say pause button is music is equal to true. Why true? Because if this is true, I wanted to skip this portion. That is, for example, if I hit pause and then I uh, select play again. What am I going to do, right? So I need some sort of flag saying if play pause button has been clicked or not. So if it is false, then execute this, that is pause button has not been clicked. Otherwise, go through this. Now what it does is, as I said, it places the picture and let's concentrate on this line. You simply call pygame.mixer.music.unpause and basically it will continue with the music wherever you've stopped it. Pretty simple, right? And that's it. But be careful. I'll be giving you the code. Just go through this. Your pause music is a very crucial factor in your code working properly. Now, if you know about keywords, you'll know what I'm talking about. And lastly, okay, not lastly, second last, we have a stop button. Stop button. Again, I have my pause music set to false. Otherwise, if I play the next music again, it will basically continue with the same thing and not the new one. And next, I have pygame.muser.music.stop. It's basically you have to know about all the methods available, right? Now, set volume. Remember, we were uh, changing it. So what you need to do is instead of ranging from 0 to 100, you just uh, vary between 0 and 1, okay? 
So it will range in points and hence you divide it by 100 and again you call a method named set volume and you give the parameter as whatever volume has been selected by the user. And this is your help and about and rewind button. The logic is pretty simple. All you have to do is call the play button again. Nothing else. And we are done. It's a pretty, pretty simple project using all your basic ideas and concepts and also something new. And I guess we're done. Let's try it out now. All right. Okay. So let me just open it again. All right. So let me select a song. I've just put in some sample songs in there. So let me say open. This is my folder that I'll be attaching for you all. And let me say, okay, four more weeks. I'll say open now and let's hit play. I hope you all can hear that. Now let us reduce the music sound a little bit. See, got reduced, right? Let's increase it. Isn't that nice? Okay, now let's pause it. There you go, you paused your own music player. Now let's run it again. Continuing from the same point, right? Okay, now let's stop it. Okay, you stopped it. Now let's try and run another song of ours from the folder we have. Let's select Subway Dreams. Now let's play that. See, the name gets changed. You have all of that. Let me just increase the volume. Okay, now let me rewind it. I wanted to start right from the beginning. See, started right from the beginning again, right? All right, I hope you all had fun. This is your own music player that you built using Python. I really hope you all like it. I'll see you all again next time with some nice, interesting video or maybe later on with a nice project. I hope I really hope you all enjoyed it. Bye-bye. I'll see you all soon. Enjoy the music.